Okay, is it possible to do a variable product in uh, the eMentor build? Yes, it is. So if we go to products here, I'll show you how we change that. And uh, you, you'll do it within the product, but you can create product attributes right over here if you want to create the attributes and assign them to uh, individual products. So let's, let's start there, actually. Let's go over here to attributes. And let's set this up. We're going to do a color attribute, for example, and click Add Attribute down here. That's all we have to do. And that creates the color attribute right over here. Now we've got to configure terms. So we click on that. <clears throat> and all right, so. Uh, as you look at this, um, just read through the, the details and it'll tell you here what it's doing. So attribute terms can be assigned to products and variations. Deleting a term will remove it from all products and variations to which it has been assigned. Recreating a term will not automatically assign it back to products, so be careful about deleting them. Okay, so add new color. Okay, let's do red. Then we come down and just click add new color. So now in the color attribute, we have a color red. Black, add new color. Green, add new color. Blue, add new color. And let's do yellow. And you can change any of these you want. So in here, under the Products Attributes section, you can come over here, and if we wanted to delete any of these, we could highlight multiples, click Bulk Actions, Delete, and then Apply. Or, as you saw here, we could just delete individual one at a time that way. So now that we've added the attributes, let's go over to our Products and see All Products and show you how you can add the attributes to a product. So if we click on this product name or click edit, either way will take you into the edit screen for the product. Now the first thing we have to do is we scroll down here and under the product data section we have to change the product from a simple product to a variable product. This will give us the attributes option here where we've got color, and we open that up and we come down here and, and check this box used for variations and then save attributes. You can actually create the attributes right here. You don't have to go over to uh, this side panel. You can add an attribute right in here if you wanted to. All right, so we can, uh, we, we already saved the attribute. Now we go to variations and we add variation and our, we can do red, blue, we can change the uh, price based on the attribute if we wanted to. So let's say this is a red color and uh, the skew is going to be whatever the base skew was plus red. So we'll, we'll put in the whole skew right here for the red one. Uh, you, if you do variations, you do need to put a price in here, otherwise it'll show it as free. So you'll need to put the, uh, the full price. This is not an add-on price, this is the full price of the, vari the product in that variation. And then you click Save Changes. And then we can add another variation. There is an option for a default color as well. And I feel like it didn't save the other colors. I must have done something wrong on the previous screen. Save. And again, if you want to change, you know, add a price or the SKU or do any of that stuff down here, then you would you'd need to make those changes. Um, and once you save them, then we're done. So if we want to remove this, we just click remove and remove. Over here we can view the attribute color and it, you can see it only has red-blue. If we want to add more we just separate it with a, a space 
a pipe symbol and a space. The pipe symbol is right above the return or enter key. You just hold down shift to get that. So if we do space, shift, pipe, space, then we can add our green, space, shift, pipe, space, yellow, space, shift, space, and black. And you can add as many as you want in there. You save those, they'll all be available in variations, and you can choose which one applies to which product. So that is how you create variations and variable products in the eMentor build.